All right, welcome to Two Woke Boys, episode 90. I am Chris. And I'm Cole. And together, we are Two Woke Woke Boys. boys. I did not realize. Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but we have a new intro song. Because it's it's the same intro song. Right. But it's a different version of the intro song because the boys are going to start putting their content on YouTube for you because we need you to see us and that's what we're here for and youtube doesn't like our podcast it's not that it's like a copyright infringement and that if we play that original song we'll we'll get shit for it right it's not that no it's that they hate our message and they're misogynist yes exactly. that's exactly what it is right but we have a male cover of this song yes. which is kind of a representation of our podcast. It really is a perfect symbolism for our podcast because Mm -hmm. as you all know, if you're listening to this podcast, we are the voice of women. We are the voice. The only voice. Only voice. voice. Yeah. Women Women don't have a voice online. And if they try to talk, it's like we will interrupt them. Yeah. Hey bitch, let us do the talk. Right. Shut up and listen to us. No one cares about what you're saying. Yeah. And that's unfortunate, but that's That's why we're here. So shut up, bitch, and let us Say what we Let need us to talk say for you. And yeah, shut the fuck up. Yeah, just wait your God turn. Damn it. And your turn when when it when we're done, we're then it's over. We're out. Right. Like if you're like, oh, now I get to talk. We're like, yeah, sure. And then we'll just be like walking away. Yeah, talk to yourself. Yeah, because we already said everything that needed to be right. said. Like, what are you gonna say? Exactly what we said, and take even longer to get there. We're good. Yeah. So so it's perfectly symbolic for this podcast to have that. <laughs> beautiful male cover mm-hmm. of fight song because you're taking this song that's like this this female empowerment anthem mm-hmm. right it was played at like hillary clinton's big speeches and stuff mm-hmm. and and other big moments in recent women's history and you're taking this big female anthem and then you're having a man do it do better it better way better yeah for sure yeah because yeah. he has like a deeper voice and he's like pushing a girl out of the way right. he's, like, he's like i got he's it. like shut up rachel platten yeah we Just got shut this. the fuck up and let the men take care yeah, of business yeah exactly and let me show you what it really sounds like to belt one out right yeah right and that's what this podcast it's is all, all about, about. yes 100 percent. you let us talk shut the fuck up and then appreciate us for what we're doing mm-hmm. for you yeah, and, and if, not enough women are showing their appreciation. That's by the way. I agree. It's a constant. It's like, why are women not throwing themselves at us all the time? I, I don't they should know. be. They one hundred percent should be. And I like we we deserve it. I'm going in they women's DM and being like, hey, you owe me. Right. And then they're like, for Who what? Are you? And I'm like, yeah. and then I send them a link to the pod. Right. And then they're like, and? is this a joke? Right. What is this? And I'm like. Pff. And that's how unfortunate it is for women because they're like, they think feminism is a joke. Yeah. They think this podcast is supposed to be some funny podcast. Yeah. Which it is not. No. It is dead if fucking you, serious. If you laugh listening to this podcast, oh, man, we, we would be, be so pissed. mad. God damn it. If we did this uh, as a, like a public show yeah. and had a crowd and we just obliterated with humor, it would be not what we were going for. No. We were we want to do this at a TED talk, and you better be fucking dead silent while yeah. we are doing this the right. whole time. And if somebody laughs, you're out. Yeah, we'll but. kick you out our, our ourselves. We mm-hmm. don't need security. No, we yeah, we want to ab- abolish. I dare police, you to so. come to the stage. Right, you come, you try and come up here. Yeah, try but, to try yeah. to Will Smith us. Yeah. see what happens. Because uh, the boys are packing heat. We've Always. talked about it. Yeah. many a times. Yeah. and if you see a bulge in my pocket, it might be my dong, but it also might be my nine. It could be two different. things. I got two nines that I'm packing. Sure. Yeah, one is my dong, and then the other is a gun. Yeah, bitch. maybe a little TMI, but I I understand. Yeah. What you're and trying to and it's not the other one's not millimeters, it's inches. So that's right. also just to clarify. Yeah, yeah. Millimeters is pretty fucking small. Right. Right. So. Yeah, I think we yeah. understand. Okay. Yeah. But, but yeah. that's it's good to and clarify. we support the metric system and the U.S. system for measuring dongs. I mean, we no, we hate the U.S. It's like the no, US, we hate the me, the the U.S. Sy- the US. system. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure, we hate this country. It's the we worst. We hate everything country about in the world. America. The world is like, hey, everyone else uses the metric system. Do you guys want to get on board? No, we're America. We do things our own way. Feet and miles and inches 
Only our system. Didn't we do like cups and ounces and shit? Yeah, too? cups and ounces yeah. and quarts. Yeah, gallons. Yeah, gallons. Yeah, yeah. That's the American I think miles. Voice. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's oh like, yeah, miles, yeah. not kilometers. Yeah. God, America. It I, sucks we so hate bad. America. How cool would it be if we all did the same system? Much better. Yeah, it wouldn't be kind of what it is now, but yeah. And if they if everyone switched to our system, that would be bad, right? Yeah, because this is the worst. That country. would be colonizing. One hundred percent. We this country. And it's like sucks. I think America's done enough of that. Am I right? <laughs> Got him. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I could live with a little less colonization. One hundred percent. Yeah, God. less gentrifying of the world right. and genociding of the world. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that's we we've had enough of that, and I think it's important that we stress how much this country sucks. But also, all immigrants should come here because we we want to save them. Right. But this is the worst country. All immigrant immigrants should want to. They want to come, come to, to a better country. place. Yeah. Well, they want to come to a better place, and it's open for them to come here and. But have we a, are the worst place. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But if they came here, then it'd be better. Right. Because right. it'd be more of them. Right. And that's good. But if they're fleeing from a country that has all sorts of turmoil, mm -hmm. it's still a better country than the U.S. 100%. So I don't understand. And we're not going to go there. Why would any immigrant want to come to America? Uh, I don't know. For for refuge? Oh, like, oh, I'm going to make more money. Yeah. You know, I'm going to be safer. <sighs> Ugh, gross. <laughs> so, one, you're, really, you're just going to take part in the capitalist system. You're going to yeah. be a cog in the corporate system capitalist machine yeah and they're definitely going to get corporate jobs for sure yeah yeah it's definitely going to be that well i mean some of them do a lot of like a lot of the fortune five actually i think like there's a pretty crazy stat i think it's like amongst the fortune 500 companies like i think the majority of them were started by immigrants if i'm not mistaken which means they're taking yep. part of the capitalist machine but are they they're like white immigrants uh right some yeah so those aren't immigrants <laughs> you know what i mean so they're not so like someone coming from like the soviet union yes fleeing for mm -hmm. for their lives that's a white person and maybe they should not so they don't in. count as an immigrant 100 yeah, percent. i mean that's a good point it's just yeah. like how brown just like asian you? just like you know when we're measuring like uh metrics of success mm -hmm. and asians are more successful than, than white people yeah. in this country but but they don't count as people of color no they they're, they're white, white. Right. yeah 100 percent. Yeah. asians are white they are so white mm -hmm. so it's all about just kind of manipulating the statistics yeah. and and the races just to kind of fit our narratives whatever we want them to be mm -hmm. so if there is a successful immigrant who's white then you're not really an immigrant uh exhibit a elon musk Mm -hmm. That piece of shit. Oh, yeah. he's from Africa. He's African American. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think he's, so. I know what African Americans look like, and that ain't it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. If, exactly. if I saw him cross on the street walking towards me, I would not cross the street. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, that just sounds a little well, racist on your part. No, More but, that, but that's yourself. me. No, that's me not colonizing their side of the street. Oh, see what I'm saying? Oh, okay. I'm I'm giving them their space. Oh, so if a now I am running and screaming help, <laughs> but I am giving them their space. You know what I'm saying? Right. So this kind of sounds like you, you sprint away. No, it's not that. For your life, every time a black person approaches. Absolutely you. not. Okay. It's not that at all. Okay. It's it's when you're I'm, screaming help, you're saying. The, like the, we need to help the black him. community. He needs help right. in his community yeah, that yeah. he's just walking by himself over here. Right. That's crazy. It's a dangerous neighborhood. And it's not dangerous because he's walking. It's not that. Right. But he needs help. Yeah. That's why I'm screaming help and running as far away from him as possible. Right. And pulling out your gun. And yeah. And waving it in the air and saying, leave me alone. You know. But that's okay. Yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. So that's that's important um there are some holidays going on right now easter is happening and it's like how many white holidays do we need you yeah know? seriously it's, i've had enough and you know what's even whiter than a white christian person a white bunny
God. Fucking bunnies. The yeah, Easter what, bunny. What is that Let me about? Take some eggs and 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 chocolate and Dude, hide them in the yard for why the kids are, to find. What, why what are the rabbits fuck is that hiding bullshit? eggs? I don't know. They don't even lay it's eggs. It's fucking stupid. Rabbits don't lay eggs. I know. So what the fuck is that about? I don't know. And w- w- I will say Easter best candy for sure. Okay. But just worst we, holiday. Yeah. I mean, we like stealing the candy from little children. Yeah. Yeah. Because we want to redistribute. Make them healthier. Yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. That. And it's not because we love the candy and we want to eat it. It's not that. We want to redistribute the candy to more poor children. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. Right. But yeah. So, yeah, Easter's happening. It's a stupid holiday. It fucking sucks. Yeah, it sucks. If you celebrate Easter, fuck you. We hate yeah. you. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to send us an Easter basket, please do that. You can though. send us yeah. some chocolates. and mm-hmm. Yeah. We would eat them or whatever. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, we don't like the, the Easter holiday. No. No. It's abhorrent. Uh, Passover's happening, too. We, we don't like Wh- anything. That's anything. A, what is Passover's, like, jewish right? yeah yeah okay so what is i mean we hate that a little less than than yeah. easter but we still hate it because th- wait so we we don't hate jews do well we? do we hate i mean we we're hate, not supposed to, we, we hate, don't like white people when people talk but, about like the old judeo-christian values we hate that what does that mean that like the values that come from the bible that both the jewish and christian religions uh use oh you know but don't Christians and Jews not get along? Uh, they, I mean, they usually get... Because the, the, the extreme... Jews kind of killed the guy well, that... You <laughs> well, know. The, the Romans... They kind of did that. Well, you know? well, the the Romans killed, uh, killed Jesus... Oh, the Romans, but, but yeah. weren't they Jewish Romans? No, no, they were they were Romans. Oh, okay, but All it right. was yeah. No, yeah, we yeah. we don't we don't believe that, Chris. Oh, but, I see. Yeah, okay. I'm just clarifying yeah, yeah. what. No, but uh, there there was yeah there was an old prejudice. One of the one of the reasons for historical anti-Semitism is because Christians would say like, oh, they they're Christ killers. They killed Christ, mm-hmm. but um, you know. Over the years, that over the years, that's those sides have kind of been mended, and and Christians and Jews usually get along, except uh, for the more like extreme sects. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But we, but because of that, because Judaism is like adjacent to Christianity, mm-hmm. we we hate that too. Yeah. But there is a third holiday that we. Support. Support, yeah. Ramadan. We love Ramadan. Yeah, and that is Which going is on for a, the rest. What is, it's a Muslim yeah, yeah. holiday? Okay, yeah. yeah, we love See, that. See, you knew, you were just Yeah, I, yeah I'm just asking, asking for the dumb listeners. dumb listeners who, yeah, who are uncultured who don't get and it. didn't know. Mm-hmm. So, so it is, there's about, yeah, there's a couple, couple more weeks of, of Ramadan. Is it the same, like, do they have like a, a brown Jesus that they killed and Three days later, he came back. Or? Absolutely not. No, they don't have like a close. brown no. rabbit that lays a bunch of eggs. And... No, although that's an interesting idea. Yeah, but they no. should do that. Yeah, they should. You know? Right. Yeah. So we need to decolonize mm-hmm. Easter. Yeah, and and by decolonizing it, just literally rebranding it like we like we do with movies. You know how like we're like, hey, Ghostbusters, but with four women instead of dudes, right? Right. So it's like. That's girl boss stuff, right? Making a, making something for women, yeah, is taking something that was already successful for men, and then just putting four people with pussies in the in the place of those men, right? And then doing the exact same thing, yes, right. And then when the movie bombs at the box office, you blame that on misogyny, patriarchy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, to to uh, improve the holiday of of this uh, Ramadan, right? Yeah. So we just take Easter, which has a white bunny laying eggs. Right. And then we just make it a brown bunny. Nice. Okay. Laying brown eggs. Brown eggs. Yeah. yeah like I get, those too. Yeah. I get brown eggs mm-hmm. when I shop. Yeah. For and, eggs. Then, and then they could, you know, those paws, like the, the Easter egg painting kits or whatever. Sure. You can paint them all those yeah. pastel colors. Yeah. What if they made them in only brown shades? And it's like you could make your egg like a different shade of brown. Okay. 
you know? Yeah, yeah. Kids love brown. Yeah. It's like a cool color. Right. Yeah, I, I love where you're going with this. I mean, it's an interesting idea because Ramadan has nothing to do with bunnies or eggs. Or yeah, but how do we get it to more people is by yeah, yeah. making it exactly what Christianity is. Right. Right. And right. then just selling it as like, but it's a brown version. Right. That's how you do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so happy Ramadan to all our Muslim women out there celebrating. And, you know, if you're so for Ramadan, and I know this because I'm very cultured, in Ramadan, like they have to fast while the sun is up. So okay. no food or drink while the, the sun is up. But while the sun is down, oh, that's they can, they can, they can eat and drink. So it's a perfect holiday to have a daytime date. Oh, right, because I yeah. can't buy anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're like, hey, I want to take you out for Ramadan. And they're like, you know, where are we going to go? I'm like, well, we can't go anywhere because you can't fucking eat anything. Right. And then at night, you know, they're not allowed to drink alcohol. Mm -hmm. So it's like we, we so can you take get them to bomb the bomb during the day. Right. Wait, what? Can no. we get bombed during the day? Well, we can. They can't. Oh, they can't okay. drink alcohol ever if they're observant ever. Muslims. Okay. Yeah. So we can take, we can be like, oh, hey, um, uh, Rashida, okay. let's take you out. I want to take you to the fanciest bar in town. And then we'll take her out where it's like, you know, 30 bucks a, a cocktail. Nice. And then we'll get one and then be like, oh, what would you like? And she'd be like, oh, I actually don't drink. Be like, oh, that sucks. Yeah. I that's guess. too bad. Right. right. Yeah. We didn't know that going in. Right. Just asked you to kind of give you the nice gesture and yeah, then, yeah you know yeah because yeah. we're good people right that's what we are yeah right so yeah if you are a uh a muslim queen out there who's like you're listening to this podcast you're mm -hmm. you're, you're fasting you're, hu you're fasting you're hungry mm -hmm. and more importantly thirsty yeah uh nice we will <laughs> quench <laughs> your thirst yeah if you and, know what I'm and we about. will fill you up yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 So the boys will quench your thirst and fill you up. Right. So yeah, hit us up. And I guess I guess um, you know, Christian and, and Jewish girls can hit us up too. Mm -hmm. Um I mean yeah. if you're religious, we will make fun of you and yeah. we will we will tell you that your religion sucks and yeah. and that you're a bad girl. Right. Yeah. And, and we may ask you to wear like, oh, wear one of those like Catholic schoolgirl outfits. Hell yeah, dude! And like you wear yes. that over here, and we will reprimand mm -hmm. you. We'll set and I, maybe film it. I and... set up a uh, confessional booth. Oh, okay. So you know, it's this little box that you sit in, and you know, I'll be like, "Hey, uh, tell me all your nastiest things you've done through this little hole that's about crotch high." You know, right? And then she'll be like, "You know, just tell me all your secrets," and then you know, maybe eventually I'll put my penis through the hole and you can so this is a glory hole i mean it could be if you okay. want you know okay with her consent yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. that's an interesting idea yeah. so so yeah you uh you can come over to us you can confess to us confess all your <clears throat> sins mm -hmm. and then we totally won't use that as blackmail to mm -hmm. hold that over against you and yeah if you see a red light into doing recording yeah just While you're in the confessional booth, be like, like what oh, is that? that? Like, oh, yeah. it's just a security camera. Don't worry about yeah. it. Just, but keep telling us all your deep, dark secrets right. for sure. Right. And if you can, um, just for, you know, to clarify who you are, if you could just say all your bank info and your yeah. address and your social security number, that would be great. Right. So, and we'll just keep a file on that. Don't worry. There's no, there's no, we have a secure system. Right. And she's like, are you guys ordained? priests and it's like uh that's, i mean what is that what even what even you know, what is, is that, that what does that mean you yeah. know it's like i you know we don't sure. organize religion is mm -hmm. just a scam yeah we don't exactly. like organized religion okay mm -hmm. we are not religious we're spiritual exactly that that was a point i wanted to make in this episode on this easter holiday that yeah. we don't like religion but we are spiritual we don't believe in god but we do believe in a higher power you know what I mean? Right, right. We don't believe in like some holy ghost or what, but we do believe in a spirit. Yeah, yeah. It's not exactly the same thing, but just calling it something no. else. That's not what this no. is. 
So we hate organized religion except for Islam. Mm -hmm. That's the only one that's okay. 100%. Yeah. And if you don't get that, you are, it's like, just keep listening to every episode of this podcast. Yeah, maybe you'll get it eventually. Yes. Yeah, it's, I mean, you're 90 episodes in. Yeah, our, and gosh, we expect our, you to, if you're a new fan of this show, you there's going to be a quiz on all the yeah. 100 first episodes. Yeah. Is this going to be, uh, excuse me, Professor Chris and Cole, will this, will this be on the test? Yes. 100%. Everything will be. be on the test. Yeah, bitch. And if you come to a show like in public and then you ask one of us something that we said on the show and we're like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't even remember what I say on that shit. We're not to be quizzed. Right. Okay. You are to be yeah, quizzed. Yeah, we're exempt. Yeah, we are exempt from the quiz. Right. We already graduated from woke college. That's right. And by woke college, we mean a liberal arts school that just you pay to go to and yeah. they give you a fake degree that doesn't really mean anything. Right. But our degree is very important and it means a lot. Yes. My degree in communications is very important. Yeah. It's certainly not the dumbest degree you can get. And I have dual major in gender gender studies. Fuck yeah. And English. Nice. Gender and obviously gender studies is the most important. Yeah. Because going to college to further study boys and girls is the most important right. thing you can do. Yeah. Yeah. And that's certainly a accredited degree that will help you in in life. Right. So so if you're in if you're a kid and you're in college now, definitely study boys and girls in college. Yeah. Cuz right now they're probably like what there's there's more than just boys and girls. Right. So it's probably the hardest major. Mm -hmm. Like if you're thinking about being an engineer, fuck you. Yeah. You fucking asshole. Oh, I'm going to learn a trade <sighs> or an a, you know, an applicable skill to life. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Cool. So dumb. God. What an Lord. archaic thing to I do. Know. Study engineering. Yeah. I can't think of a, a, a bigger or waste of time. Or some science-related thing or mm -hmm. mathematics. Yeah. We Ugh. do believe in science, and we need science, but not that kind of science. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. <laughs> and by that kind, we mean. Applicable, like, actual science. Yeah. Yeah. So. Sure. Sure. Po yeah. Political science is the only science we, we study. We love political we science. We love poli We are sci political scientists. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. And That's th why we that have was also. Coats and, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know. I have beakers here. <laughs> That's what you need for political science. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. They do a lot of science experiments. Yeah. And, yeah. Petri dish mm -hmm. and a microscope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah, we, yeah. And the kind of. Uh, political science experiments I would do would be inviting women over for a dialogue. Nice. Which, speaking of which, dialogues are important, yeah. right? So, I don't know if you want to talk about dialogues, but yeah. we, we are recording at a, at a different time than usual because uh, you had a, an early day, right? Yeah. And then that was, and then you were like, we gotta hurry up because a dialogue has to happen at right. night. Yep. And then now you're like, got nothing. Yeah. You know? So I had, yeah, I had a dialogue planned, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a first dialogue planned, wow. and with a young woman, mm -hmm. and we were going. Because you're a hero and you want to help her. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm j I just want to heal her and, yeah. you know, just be like. It's not like, you're not some dude trying to go on dates to get pussed. No. It's not, not that not, at all. No, I'm. May, maybe on the second date, but not on the first yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. You're just trying to have a dialogue. Right. So we had plans to get drinks mm -hmm. at, a, um, at a restaurant and bar by mm -hmm. the beach. And uh, she said that she had to cancel mm -hmm. to, she said her, uh, oh, I, I have to pick up my dad from the airport mm -hmm. last minute. It's like, oh, okay, bitch. Like, your dad's just come into town out of nowhere? You had no fucking heads up about it? Your dad's, oh, I'm going to come to L.A. randomly with no notice and stay with you. You fucking lying bitch. Fuck you. So I was like, oh, yeah, no, it's totally fine. Like, yeah. it's cool. Like, mm -hmm. I understand. I believe you. And mm -hmm. we, we believe all women. Yeah, we believe women. And when they give some fucking horseshit excuse yeah. why they can't have a dialogue right now, like literally 45 minutes before you're supposed to hang out. Right. Okay, sure. Yeah. We believe you. Right. 
so but here's here's where a, a potentially interesting wrinkle so i matched with her on a dating app hinge mm -hmm. okay a dialogue app. yeah uh, right yeah, yeah right yeah other people are like oh i'm gonna oh, find some swipe right get here. some pussy yeah, yeah. Hey, not oh, me not yeah, me super like or what yeah Fuck that. yeah yeah Fuck you Ew. if you do that yeah. yeah so we matched right and then um i noticed so and then we eventually moved things over to text so mm -hmm. we were texting instead of messaging on because the you wanted a safe space you right. know you want to you want to provide her with some comfort because those dating apps can be atrocious and right. it's not because dudes like us are on there no that's not it we're the good guys on there yeah. and we'll fucking tell you we're the good guys right. and if you don't believe us you fucking dumb bitch. we will fucking show you how nice yeah, we are we're nice as fuck we're bitch. so fucking nice let us show you how fucking nice we can be you stupid bitch so they just need to let they, us show them how nice we are. Yeah, okay? and I, like and I'm, I'm getting mad thinking about how nice we are. I know, and it's it, just it makes making me, me so fucking I just mad, dude. Take my fist and just drive, uh, it. just drive it through the drywall, just, <laughs> just right through. I just want to show how nice I am. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I noticed. After we moved things over to text, mm -hmm. next thing, next time I was, uh, you know, I was checking checking the app. A couple of days later, looking through the matches, couldn't help but notice that she had um, unmatched. She had either unmatched me or deleted her account, but the match was gone. Oh, okay. So maybe so it's like, hmm, interesting. What what's happening here? But we continued to talk over text. Okay, I didn't bring it up, and neither did she. Uh huh. But. That happened to me once before where, like, matched with a girl and she gave her? me her number. Okay. And she was like, hey, text me here. I'm about to delete this. I'm about to delete this app. I'm sick of Hinge, right? So, but that, but now after the second girl did the same thing, got me thinking, is that just like... Something a, that women a, do? Attack, right. So they don't, they're not actually deleting it. They're just... Unmatching, unmatching me, you, yeah. but pretending like, okay, I'm done with this. Mm -hmm. I'm different, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So is that, I is wonder. It, is it, okay, so you're saying, is it women are saying like, once they get your number and then you're having a conversation in there yeah. on text. Right. They, they say they're deleting the app, yeah. but they're just deleting you from their app. That's what my theory is. Yeah, that that makes sense. Right. I mean, either way, I don't know. Like in unmatched. I mean, maybe versus you're the one. The you right. Know what I mean? Which we I don't mean, believe in that because yeah, we I mean, we I'm, are you're like when we don't have a one because we're polyamorous. We don't have a one, but we, you're they, one. You're one of them. Right. That's what you are. Right. You know, and you're like be grateful that yeah. you're one of many. Yeah. And if you play your cards right, you could move up the the ladder. The list. Of, yeah. yeah. And the batting order, you can right, bat right. earlier. Right. So. You know, um, but uh, yeah, that is an interesting thing. Right. It does seem like there's something going on there. Right. Right. Well, so I, and I haven't, I haven't. She could be. The topic with she could be in a polyamorous relationship that her current boyfriend is unaware of. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There could be something like that going on. Yeah, right. There could be. Um, I don't know. She could be just like a spaz. You know. Yeah. Well, she's so she's flaked on me twice now. Mm -hmm. So th I, I'm giving Does her she one have, more chance. Now, now this is another thing that people yeah. have about meeting in person is they have what – this is a mental health podcast, and we're yeah, going to talk right. about mental social – so important. It's so important. Yeah. And she could have social anxiety. Oh. You know what I mean? Because yeah. meeting someone for the first time, especially someone like celebrities like us – yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we're like big time celebrities, totally, and we yeah. are like probably the best guys you'll you'll ever meet. Yeah. So imagine a woman swiping right on you, and then just being like, "Well, oh this is God, the is the best cool? guy you're yeah. ever gonna meet," right. right? And then she, you know, she's like, "I can't believe I'm texting the greatest guy of all time." Yeah, you know. Yep. And then now, now you got to meet the best guy of all time. You better fucking impress him. Right. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of pressure on her. Yeah. So and now she's like just crumbling under the pressure to mm. to impress you on this wow. on this dialogue. And now she's like, how am I even going to keep conversation going? 
He's I'm not so interesting. I'm a I'm a woman. I have looking. nothing important to say. Right. Like and he's, he has it all. You know, he knows what I want because he's a guy, and he, you know he listens to women. Right. You know, so right. he wears a futurist female T-shirt. Like no guy would ever do that unless you know they're the best guy ever. Right. Right. Yeah. No yeah. ulterior mo- motives. Yeah. No, not at all. So she's probably just like super intimidated by you, and That's then just probably a- canceled out of fear. Yeah. Twice. Yeah. Well, I told her I'm giving her one more chance. Nice. So I you're said, going LOL. By... I said one more chance. LOL. Oh, okay. Just yeah. to let her, like, you know. One more chance. Don't LOL. Give you one more fucking, fucking chance. LOL. LOL. You see how much I'm laughing right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing. It's funny, right? It's funny. I'm giving you one more chance. You fucking bitch. I'm giving you one more chance. You cancel on me twice and ruin my plans. Yeah, I'll give you one more chance. <laughs> it's funny, right? It's funny, right? So. That's why I said LOL, mm-hmm. you know, because yeah, it's, yeah. Cause it's it, funny. it lightens the mood. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. But if only she, if she fucking, fucking knew that knew. hole that oh got punched God in the wall damn it. that yeah. she canceled on me. But now you have something to do now so you can you repair know, the drywall. Re- repair yeah, the, right. dwi- the drywall and then put up that uh, new Slipknot like, poster. Yeah, and, hell yeah. And yeah, we'll be yeah. we'll be squared away. But and It's getting hard to find Slipknot posters right. at this point because right. they're not really generating right. new music, I don't think. No. So I mean, they only really made like yeah, three songs. Yeah, I mean, songs, I, every I time I go into GameStop, it's like, <laughs> yeah, like, hey, where are your Slipknot? Yeah, I like, I don't even don't know where any. Spencer Gifts is to find another right. poster to put over the yeah. wall. Yeah, you know? it's getting tough. Okay. Yeah. So you know, and I I want to see that blacklight poster before I put it up. You know. Yeah. Because I I really want it to pop. Yeah. You know. When I when I when I when I bring a girl over here, I'm like, yo, check out this blacklight poster I got. Nice. She's like super impressed. She's like, "Wow, that is so cool." Yeah. You have this joke poster that's like a a weed leaf, right? Because that's like part of your identity. And it's like you know, we we since we're spiritual, like, and weed is just like a plant. Yeah. That it's that, just it's, it's just, just a plant. It's man. just a plant, bro. Yeah. Yeah, dude. So that's that's what we're all about. Right. right. You know? Yeah, it legalize we are 420 it. 420 friendly. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. And if you're a pot bitch, hit us up. Right. Yeah. Yeah, if you're like one of these kind of lazy and unmotivated and mm-hmm. drug addicted uh, hippie girls, mm-hmm. hit us up and, you know, we'll we'll save you. Yeah. Take a shower before you come over first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need And you can that let bullshit. out your dreadlock, you know, these white girls with dreadlocks. Yeah. It's like, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's cool. Stop Stop the cultural appropriation yeah. already. Yeah. You stupid bitch. Only Chet Hanks is allowed to That's right. wear dreads and speak in what's Patois. It? Patois, yeah. Right. Bomba clot. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bigo. Yeah. Bigo. The whole island. Yeah. 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 Only he is an island boy. 420 friend. Oh, 420 is. Is this. This podcast is going to. Oh, the podcast the, is going to drop on. 419, yeah, wow. yeah. So, so yeah, if you want to celebrate 420 and you're one of these, like, weed hippie bitches, yeah. hit us up in our DMs. Mm-hmm. And, and we will 420 you. Or, yeah. yeah, whatever, whatever that means. Yeah, so, smoke weed and whatever. Yeah. We'll watch uh, Half Baked. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll smoke weed. And then uh, if you want to bring some munchies over instead of eating all my fucking snacks, that'd be great. Yeah. Yeah, we love that. Yeah, so, so so I mean, yeah, we'll keep uh, we'll keep our listeners posted of what happens with mm-hmm. this this date situation. But yeah. you know, yeah, it's an interesting situation with the uh, women and their their anxiety around us because we're right. such speaking important of, celebrities. Well, speaking of which, why hasn't Raya invited us to be? Yeah, on we should be on yet? Raya for sure. Mm. If I you mean, don't know what Raya, multiple times, yeah. And they've laughed. They've laughed away our it's invitations. It's crazy. And it's they, like, um, do you know who we are? Yeah. And they, when they're like, no, but it's like, pff, a lot of people you know should. Who, yeah, you, you should, should know. Though. You should know who we are, and you're gonna find out who we are. Yeah. So, yeah. If you don't know what Raya is, Raya is a dating app for celebrities. Right. Of which we are. Yeah. Yeah. We are. We want to be on there to connect with other celebrities. Right. Right. So because like normal, like the more famous we get, which is, you know, more incrementally I mean, more famous like every, every week. week. I mean, nine, just... we've done 90 of these shows like we're obviously famous by mm-hmm. now. Every time that like we're talking to a normie, 
mm-hmm. you know, one of the, like the girl I'm talking, you know, she's a normie. Yeah. She's a normal, That's why she's so intimidated. Right. Right? Exactly. Because you're so special. I'm so cool and yeah. special. Exactly. Yeah. And, and it says that in your profile, warning people about how cool and special you are. Right. Right. Because, yeah. again, the people who say how cool and special they are are, are the always coolest and the coolest. specialist. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and I am a specialist. Nice. In all areas of life. So, mm-hmm. it's difficult talking to normal women because they're like, it's hard to know, like, are they just talking to me for, like, to try they're to get using the fame? Are they for, using me yeah, for my fame? For the fame? clout. For, yeah. They want to be, they want to see it at the pod. Right. And guess what? There's no room Table's at this table. Table's closed, yeah, bitch. Table is closed. There are, do you see any other chairs here or mics nope. here? Nope. Absolutely I don't see not. anything. Yeah. So back off. Yeah. We Stop are Stop using talking. me for my fame. Yeah. And that's, yeah, and that's the thing. It's like when I'm out and about and these women are always like throwing themselves at me, you know, it's like I, I never really know. Like, do they love me for me mm-hmm. or just my celebrity? It's hard. It's That's the hardest part about being a celebrity is like – just dealing with the, the and pressures. This of, is something I totally deal with every mm-hmm. time I go out. Yeah. Like, oh, cool. I love you, cool. Oh, I love your poetry. And it's like, I, I'm yeah, just trying to buy groceries. Yeah. You know? And it's like, yeah, you're beautiful. But like, man, if I didn't have the poetry and the brilliance mm-hmm. and the good looks mm-hmm. and the intelligence and the status mm-hmm. and the wealth and all the other things that I so have. It's like, would you be approaching me the way you are now? Yeah, it's hard to say, you know. I mean, you're a pretty cool guy, so I don't not know I why mean, they wouldn't. No homo. Yeah, it's no like, homo, of oh, course. you're a cool guy. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. Yeah. It's like people will say, like, oh, Chris is, like, a handsome guy. It's like, I, I don't know if you're handsome. Yeah, if someone asks me, like, about you they're like hey cole's like really attractive like why are you talking to me about this bitch get the fuck out of yeah. here i'm not are you trying to get me gay? to say something gay here? yeah what do you want me to say oh he's hot i want to fuck him like right. is this a you trap? go tell him that if that's what you're trying to do. Yeah. yeah they're trying to trap me into being gay right which i am not doing yeah we are so <laughs> fucking straight yeah. if you're crazy. setting a gay trap i'm falling in the pussy hole that's where i'm falling nice you know what i'm saying nice yeah so, yeah, we don't know if, like, other men are – like, I don't know if you're handsome. I don't know if Brad Pitt mm-hmm. is handsome I or Ryan no Gosling is handsome. Oh, because girls, oh, you know, swooning. Yeah, we have no ability we to don't, we tell don't if a man is conventionally attractive. No. We have no way Because it would knowing. be gay. To, it would be gay to know. Yeah. We only know if you have huge tits or a nice round ass. Yeah. If you're a girl. Right. Yeah. Right. Speaking of which – Lizzo has a new show Mm -hmm. called Watch Out for the Big Girls. It's a dance competition to Mm -hmm. find her new backup dancers. Lizzo also hosted SNL this past weekend. Wow. So big time for Lizzo, Mm -hmm. who we love. We love Lizzo, and we are 100% for the body positivity movement. Yeah, and especially in, you know, couple departments that you mentioned before yeah yeah we like we there's specific sects of the body positive movement that we want to help out with um like there's a lot of women that fall under the hot category yeah that are being neglected yeah hot the, women are included too yeah we talked about this with lil mookie b mm-hmm. last year 100 you know, percent. body so, positivity includes all bodies mm-hmm. even hot bodies 100 percent. so if you're a hot woman Please hit us up and we will have a dialogue with you. Yeah. And, and we are uh, positive. We want to have a dialogue mm-hmm. with you. And and we want to say positive things about your body. Yeah. So um and so oh, hot women and oh your love language is uh what's the one where oh words of affirmation, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like we will affirm you mm-hmm. so much with our words. Yeah. Exactly. And it's that's so crazy because ours is physical touch yeah yeah i will also yeah. also receiving gifts yeah, yeah, yeah so bring over some gifts for yeah. us and your body can be a gift right you know yeah so which i will physically touch also oh yeah i will physically touch your body and i will give you a gift and the gift will be my body touching physically touching your body right so yeah that's that's pretty much it nice yeah so Shout out to Lizzo. She's so. Is this Watch on. Out for Big Girls? Is this show like a like 
they're looking for like a fat dancer. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. That that is not hilarious. No, it's we, brave yeah, and awesome. Yeah, we love that. Yeah. We love that. So So it's funny cuz someone's going to be kicked off the show for not being fat enough or body right. positive enough. Body excuse positive. me, yeah. Yeah. To to be her backup dancer. Right. That's pretty interesting. Yeah. And nothing is like there's it's not hilarious when fat people dance okay no it's not funny at all it's actually amazing to watch it's hot yeah it is hot yeah yeah Mm -hmm. so we we've totally been watching that show watch Mm -hmm. out for the big girls i feel like i would actually watch that show i kind of want to see what's going on i kind of do too it's intriguing Mm -hmm. but yeah, so that's happening. So if you are Lizzo or a contestant on that show, hit us up in our DMs and we'll, I mean, I, I don't know what, I, like we'll have a dialogue with you, but just like let's keep it between us. Yeah, we'll, we will go out and be pictured publicly with you, but yeah. if anybody asks like what's going on, are they dating, we're, we're we just are gonna, friends. Pff, we are yeah. just hanging out I mean, we will friends. we will be having a sexual relationship but that will not be going no public. one's gonna know no about one that will know about it right yeah is that Don't right tell anyone sarah that's right right yeah just making sure yeah don't tell anybody about this yeah yeah that's the important thing right because we want to keep our relationship stuff secret right even though we may talk about it on the pod yeah yeah all right yeah, we yeah, are yeah. private <laughs> yeah we are private individuals who have a public podcast right and air out all our private information grievances on, yeah 100 percent. So, yeah for so, ep- episode 100 i will be putting out my personal information nice so subscribe to that Only 10 yeah. more so yeah. yeah so that's great so speaking of lizzo and music uh coachella is happening first weekend just wrapped up then there will be another weekend out mm-hmm. in the desert yeah. in in coachella valley and and do we love Coachella. Well, so we we've talked about this. We 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 are nature boys. Right, right. We so love. We, we like the desert outdoor mm-hmm. aspect of it. Yeah. But also, it's like oh, mainstream consumerism and capitalism. Let me let me buy a ticket. Yeah. And, and let me get spend, a wristband. Let me spend a minimum of six hundred dollars to go hang out outside. And do take pills and yeah take pills with a, a, a woman that is dressed like a character from the fifth element right yeah and yeah. then try to fuck her in a tent right yeah i mean that's that probably sounds pretty great to us but yeah but, but we, we will not be attending this show no and because, not just because no one invited us no it's not that and like the invitation's still open like for the second weekend if you need protection like if you're a group of girls yeah if young, you yeah. just young girl like between yeah. 18, maybe 18 and, and 24, 24. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah if you are a group of just hot scorchers women yeah between 18 and 24 and you all, got a and you got a 10 person women. tent no guy no yeah. guys there yeah and like it's not safe you're all to, gonna share a 10 person tent where you all are dressed like sluts or whatever yeah kind of hang out in the tent and i imagine probably have like a pillow fight in your underwear or you know, maybe take Molly and dyke out with each other or whatever. Yeah. And you need a guy there to, I don't know, protect you or just, you know, be there for the whole experience. Maybe film it, whatever. Yeah. We well, will. They want that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, they we, would know about the cameras, right? 100%. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We will document your lesbian escapades. Right. And also participate. And if you're, like, not wanting to be a lesbian, we will be there so it won't be gay for right. you if you have Certainly a problem not with for that us, yeah. no definitely not for us so and we'll know. take those videos of you you can do like a compilation you know mm-hmm. those those dumb videos where women will be at some event and they'll be hold, like the camera person will be like holding the camera but you'll see their hand okay in frame and so you'll see like they're holding each other's hands oh and yeah the, and the woman will be like the come like, with me yeah, yeah, come, yeah. yeah come on Come on, like waving yeah, to the yeah, camera. Like, we're going come to the on, beach. Come on, we're going. Yeah, come on. And you see the hands and uh-huh. and that fucking bullshit that yeah. they force their we boyfriends love that to do against of, their will. Yeah. We love that. We content. love that. Mm-hmm. So if you have a if you're a, a girl out there who either has a boyfriend or has had a boyfriend who has been reluctant to 
to make content like that with you, like those hand things, like, come on, come with mm -hmm. me. Or like they've been reluctant to take pictures of you posing by the beach or in front of that pink wall in West Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And like, we would do that so much better than like- 100%, we'd be so I actually that. am a photographer. Yeah. So, and by that, I mean, I own a camera. Yeah. We're so different than the other guys. Mm -hmm. And the other guys will say that that's a waste of time and they don't like doing that, but we love doing that. Mm -hmm. Like, we would treat you so much We better. love making content. Yeah. And if you are a content creator on OnlyFans, we love making content for that. So right. hit us up and we will help you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. And so invitation, our DMs are open for those security guard, all, all expense paid security guard positions. Like, we won't even make you pay us just as long as you pay for our lodging and food and concert tickets. So just, you know, a couple grand. It's not that much. And we'll provide free protection. 100%. So let's see, other musical artists. Rihanna is pregnant with ASAP Rocky um, his with his kid or whatever. And there was a breakup rumor that they broke up and that he was cheating. But it was an untrue rumor. They denied it. Mm -hmm. And we – that's definitely not something that, like, we – that's definitely not a rumor that we started that we tried to leak about yeah. ASAP Rocky so she would, like, so dump him. Get in and there, then so we yeah. could get in there and, yeah. and date Rihanna instead. Mm -hmm. That's not something that's that not we were behind. We're no. And that's not what we do constantly. No, we don't. Every woman we're pursuing. We are not. Just unleash a wave of rumors mm -hmm. about the boyfriend. We are not a media powerhouse that releases tons of fake news about your current boyfriend. No. We're not doing that at all. Absolutely not. We got too many things going on. Yeah. And by too many things, it's not several fake accounts that we are click farming and using like you know fake stories about your your current boyfriend about what a scumbag he is that's not what this is right also why is rihanna with asap rocky what does he have that we don't have i mean he's like a he's like a famous rapper right yeah and he's like probably pretty rich and um he's pretty famous and he's probably on raya well, oh, that's something we could do. We could make a fake account of him on Raya and be like, "Hey, look, Rihanna, mm -hmm. we saw your we saw your man on mm -hmm. on Raya, so he's he's fucking around behind your back." Mm -hmm. And then he'd be like, "This is fake. This isn't my account. This is photoshopped." And be like, "Oh, funny yeah. excuse." Oh, that's that's there. what they all say. That's what they all say. Yeah. So we should and and here's something important that I want to say, like. You know, usually we're very extremely anti women with kids, right? We do not like dating single mothers because we are not going to be cucks and raise your your dumb little child. I'm certainly never going to. We don't want to see your child either. Out of sight, out of mind. Yeah. We don't want anything to do with your dumb son. But for Rihanna, if she does end up breaking it off with ASAP Rocky and she's going to have this kid. Mm hmm we would say, you know what, for her, it's okay. Yeah. We support her doing it. We would still date her. 100%. Even if she was a single mom. And if she just wanted like a no strings attached situation where we just like bang or whatever, we're cool with that too. And then she like paid for all our stuff and like yeah, that would gave be, us some of her money. And, and we would let her do that because we, that would be like us fighting the patriarch. Right, by flipping the script. Mm -hmm. It's like, Okay, instead of a sugar daddy, we're gonna have a sugar mama. Exactly. She is a billionaire, and we hate billionaires. There are no ethical billionaires except for Rihanna. Exactly. Because she is a BIPOC queen. Mm hmm. Oprah is also okay. Yeah, we love Oprah. Yeah. She's great. Yeah. <clears throat> um. So we had an email come in. Okay. Uh, about this uh, BLM co-founder. Uh. I believe police colors. Patrice, here. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so she says that the charity transparency laws are triggering because she like bought 
house it like beach a real front, estate uh, yeah. empire yeah. with money with, that was given to what people thought they were giving to charity to she said something and, like yeah. she was making a uh a, a, like a content house at the at this property or whatever like it was like a TikTok hot boy house for blm creators or something actually yeah it, for some of these no well it's, TikTokers. i don't think no it, i don't think it was but they, they were saying they wanted to, they bought a content house. That's what they were saying it was. It was a yeah. content house that they were going to create content in and make, uh, you know, BLM type content. So uh, laws that require charities to disclose their finances and activities to the public endanger the lives of activists. Black Lives Matter co-founder Patrice Kohler said in a recent event, the embattled activist... She is embattled from her oh, multi-million dollar yeah, house that she's bought with, oppressed with people that have embattled. been manipulated to send money to this charity. Right. Yeah. Um, let's see. Which, which, like, the whole, the whole organization was like defund the police. So, like, you don't actually need to send money anywhere to defund something. You just take money away. Right. Right. So, and that's great. Yeah. But yeah, so the embattled activist who is facing re renewed criticism uh, following reports, BLM Global Network Foundation, while under her control, purchased a $6 million Los Angeles mansion, said she gets triggered whenever she hears the term IRS Form 990. The document charities are required to file to the public every year, disclosing their financial activities. It's such a trip now to hear the, the term 990 colors said Friday during an event at the Vashon Center for the Arts. It's like, ugh, it's triggering. Yeah. I actually did not know what 990s were before all this happened, Kohler said, who, you know, of course, like, you know, if you've just now got a new thing where you're raking in millions of dollars and right. you have to file a new tax thing. Yeah, let's see. Um, Kohler said, uh, yeah, I didn't know what a 990 was before all this happened. Kohler said an apparent reference to the Washington Examiner's reporting in January about BLM's lack of financial and leadership transparency that led multiple states, including California, to order a charity, order the charity to cease raising funds until it discloses what it did with the 90 million it raised in 2020. My God. Colors said that activists suffer trauma and their lives are put at risk when charities under their control are required to disclose publicly what they did with their tax deductible donations. This doesn't seem safe for us. The nine, this, the, this 990 structure, the non, this nonprofit system structure, Colors said, this is like deeply unsafe. This is being literally weaponized against us, against the people we work with. So she wants to not tell anybody where the money where went. the money is going. Yeah. So because it's obviously going in a good place. Right, right. Yeah. Just don't worry about Don't it. hey, we're doing good stuff, so shut the fuck right. up. You know? Oh, where is my money going that I donate to? Just shut up and let us handle this it. This is this is kind of how when when someone's like met with like, "Hey, are you cheating on me?" and they just flip the fuck out. Right. What the fuck, bitch? Yeah. Are you accusing me of cheating on you? Gas what are you mode. cheating on me, you dumb bitch? Why would you accuse me of that? Yes. That's the reaction of someone who didn't do anything. Right, though. right, right. And if we act that way, you are gaslighting us. Right. Because you brought this up in the first place. Yeah. We're just trying to be good people, and you're out here saying that we did something that was not cool. Well, we are going to go to our $6 million beach house that no one knows how we got, and you shut the fuck up. Right. So it's just so we could not agree with Patrice Colors more. Mm -hmm. It's so – it is racist. It is unsafe. It is discriminatory and, to ask her to disclose where the money to her charity went to. And no one— They should one, be exempt from the rules. Yeah, exactly. Because it's like when you say that, like, hey, I want to do something for good, no one needs to look at your tax documents. Right. 
and this podcast is for good. So and it, no one so better shut audit the us. Fuck up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, shut the fuck up and send us money, and it's going to go in a good place. Yeah. And if you see us wearing gold chains and Jordans everywhere, fuck you. All right. Right. And yeah, if I'm wearing brand new. You didn't new, spend your money on that. No. Yeah. We spent other money on yeah, that. Yeah, we're independently wealthy. We have nothing. Right. You know, we do this because we're good, not because we're trying to steal money from a right. bunch of people as a grift this is a good cause yeah that we are we're not doing this for money and pussy no gross we would never do that no we do this because we're good guys and if you're a woman out there and you like good guys hit us up yeah well said yeah well said so yeah we we support patrice colors and and you should definitely continue donating to BLM. And if you worry about where the money's going, you're racist. Well, you can't donate to BLM now because oh, right. they've been halted. Now, now have, here's yeah. what I suggest. You can't donate to BLM anymore. But you can donate to this black organization, the Two Woke Boys podcast. Right. The Slut Fund is a uh, BLM-adjacent charity. Right. Right? Yeah. What similarities do we have to? Or well, we're certainly not wanting to disclose our tax information. Well, that's, so that's there, there's that. Yeah, right. That's yeah, we're one. not saying where the money's going no. at all. So that's one thing we have in common. Right. Um, and when you confront us and when we're wearing those gold chains and Jordans, Jordans yeah, and you're not going to be able we're to in, understand us because of yeah. our the gold grills. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to be like, um. If I, Cole, yeah. You're going to be like, uh, Cole, Chris, like I just donated a bunch of money to the slut fund mm -hmm. and you happen to have all this stuff now. Any connection there will be like, I'm going to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like you won't be able to understand us. Yeah. Because you haven't figured out. Yeah. Mouth. You haven't figured out how to talk with your gold grill yet. Right. And I will I will lean back in my chair holding my gold chalice that I will be drinking my Hennessy out of. And I'll be like, hey, shut the fuck up, okay? Nice. That's what I'll do. Nice. So, yeah, so we are a BLM adjacent charity. So if you want to donate to the Two Woke Boys, we will, um, you know, the Slut Fund, we will try to support sluts of color. Mm -hmm. So if, if you're like SOCs. a... SOCs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. If you are a, um, a black queen yeah, with like a... You know that fits in the body positivity movement oh, with yeah. her you know in in specific Certain areas yeah, yeah yeah if you are body positive in your tits or ass area please hit us up and we would love to give you the swirl if you know what i'm saying yeah yeah if you are yeah i hope you like the this the chocolate and vanilla swirl option because mm -hmm. the boys are down with the swirl that's right yeah so yeah if you want some cream in your coffee that's right i will some eb yeah. some uh some ivory with that ebony mm -hmm. yeah yeah hit us that's up. right yeah hit yeah. us up for sure because it is yeah it is a woke boy summer mm -hmm. but a black queen summer as well also yeah yeah mm -hmm. so that's unfortunate that uh patrice colors is going through that hardship yeah we just wish her the best I, couldn't happen to a better person yeah you know? for sure yeah, these poor activists that have make millions just of dollars from their nonprofit organization. Yeah. yeah, it's just you, yeah. you got to feel for them. They yeah. are the most oppressed people mm -hmm. in this country. People want to shit on these like TikTokers for doing dances and making money doing all that when it's just like I mean, these people are doing nothing and it's like bullshit. But these people that are like creating a charity and then like taking all the money from it and like becoming billionaires off of like fake empathy those people are really oppressed and we yeah. have to feel bad for them yep so yeah and we need to shit on people like joel osteen because he's 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 bad right you know what i mean what he's doing is definitely different than what patrice Collers is doing for sure it's not just like that wokeism is it's is like a new religion that people are following like older people are with Joel Osteen right yeah it's except it's not a uplifting message like Joel Osteen it's actually like the world sucks message right which is what we promote 
Yes, because the world does suck. It does America suck, and it's sucks bad. The most. But we are positive people, and yeah. we care about mental health. Yeah, mental health is I, so like, important. It, it really we is are important. improving our mental health all the time. Yeah, and your mental health is improving by listening to this podcast. And if you disagree, we will fucking kill you. Yeah, exactly. How's that for your mental health? Yeah, I'll bitch? fucking I'll I'll show you some mental health. Yeah, yeah. Take a fist right to your. Yeah, fucking right to your skull. fucking dome until yeah. until I beat this fucking see how healthy empathy that, see how you. healthy that is yeah that is for your mentality yeah dude um do you have anything you want to plug so let's see this Sunday ally of the show Malcolm Kellner might might be performing in Burbank California at the nightcap April twenty fourth it's the show called Comedy Show. Uh, 424 Burbank, 8 p.m. Ally of the show, Malcolm Kellner, might be performing if he is not booked on a commercial shoot that's out of town. Wow. So that's something that apparently might be happening for him, so I hear. But if he doesn't have that, you should come see him and some other allies of the show perform at the Nightcap. Nice. That's uh, that's great. That's on the 24th. Yep. Um Los Angeles, uh, allies of the show, Jeff Zinesek, uh, will be in Los Angeles May 6th at a Don't Tell Los Angeles show. So uh, I don't know how to really find out where it's going to be. So I guess Don't Tell, the the organization that's putting it on, they disclose where those shows are going to be. So I guess let them know that you're looking for – Jeff is in a sec, and you can get tickets to that. Yep. Those are always killer shows. So Right. And up. funny enough, don't tell the same thing. We tell those body positive mm -hmm. women that we hook up with. It's like, you better don't tell anyone. Yeah, this exactly. Happened. Yeah. Poetic, yeah. Like that. Don't fucking tell. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's our, that's our, we have a don't ask, don't tell policy. Right. Yeah. Don't ask us where we were last night, and don't we won't tell, tell you. you. Yeah, we're not telling you, so don't ask. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not tell, don't ask. That's our policy. We are not telling you. Don't fucking ask. Yeah, that's the policy. Yeah, yeah. and don't tell anyone what happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. because so, we are a secretive organization. We're just, you know, we don't kiss and tell mm -hmm. unless. It's like a conventional like, mm -hmm. ten, and you know. Then oh yeah, just a smoke show. I mean, we are yeah, yeah that that porn Instagram that we're shooting is definitely accidentally going out on our Instagram story. Yeah, yeah. Whoops, didn't mean to share that with the world. Yeah, you know. Hell yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that being said, uh, yeah, come out, uh, come out to show to live shows. Um, anyone that saw Ally of the Show, Jeff's in a second, Tampa. Thanks for coming. That was great. Um, also, um, follow allies of the show, Malcolm Kellner and Jeff Zinesek on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Um, follow our podcast page on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Um, send us emails. We will, uh, we would love to, that, that article we just read at the end, that was an uh, email from somebody. So that was great. Thank you. Um, and, um, yeah, we'll read emails on the show. We'll give you woke advice. If you have dating advice, we're dating experts. We will help you. Yep. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Give us five-star reviews on iTunes and Spotify. Those of you that have given us reviews, you rule. Thank you. Uh, we will definitely read some reviews because there's been some uh, There's, there's, been, been, some, some there's been some new ones that yeah. have been added that are pretty great that we'll read on the show. So keep those reviews coming. You guys are helping out. Let's uh, pop up those uh, Spotify reviews. I think we're we're over 15 now, so they just allowed people to review on right. uh, Spotify. So that's helping. So also go to that uh, YouTube page. We're gonna start putting video content on there. So check us out um, and share the pod with your friends. Tell people about our show. That always helps. So. That being said, thank you for listening to episode 90 of the Two Woke Boys podcast. I am Chris. And I'm Cole. And together, we are Two Woke, Woke Boys. Boys.